Hola everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hola, my name is Stephanie. Today I'm going to share with you guys the moment some of you have been waiting for. The tour of my craft room office. Just a disclaimer, it is not perfect. It's not fully 100%. I feel like it never is 100% because I always move things around. I always find new pieces. I always get rid of pieces. I shift my workspaces depending on my needs at that time or during that season. So it's always changing. I'm always moving things around. I promised you guys that I would not wait until everything was perfect to share the space with you because if I waited to that moment, then I would never share it with you. So you'll see, there's some things that I haven't finished, things that need to go up on the wall. I just put up two things up on the wall yesterday and I did them myself with command strips. So we shall see how that goes because yesterday one of the pieces fell down. But I knew I was gonna film this video today. So I'm like, you know what, let me just put it up on the wall now. This is where it's gonna go, so it's no big deal. There's other things that aren't on the wall that I cannot do because I am not handy at all. I don't know how to use a power drill. I don't put anything on the wall. I'm not gonna find the beams. I'm not gonna use anchors and that stuff. That's my husband's part of the business. He is my handyman. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna, you know, work with what we've got and I hope you guys enjoy it. First, we're gonna start with a pan around. This is the entrance. It's a weird shape, this office, but it's still cute and it's spacious and I love it. I decided to put my backdrop on the door because I don't know where else to put it. And that already had like a little clip. So I decided to just put it on there. I got this rug off of Amazon. This is my little shelf thing that I got from Five Below. This is so that when I come to the office, I can just put my outside shoes there and get comfy with cute shoes. So these are the ones that I'm wearing right now. I got these from Five Below and those from Five Below. It's not like a must, like you don't have to do this, but I figured whoever comes in here and wants to get comfy, they can do so. This is the only sign that I have put up as far as decor, because I don't think I have very many other ones, but I love this phrase. This one says, love what you do, and that is true. This is a nice little reminder, and there was already something here to hold it up, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna leave it right there. That's why it's so low. This is the pink box that I got at Home Goods that initially I got for trash, but it kind of ended up not working that way. So I pretty much put any package that I get, I put it here, things that need to go out, I also put it in there, and also my bags. My bags that I use to take packages and things like that. So this is like the little shipping area, let's call it. I have my foldable shelf right here. This is the only one that I kept out of three of them because I did have three for markets but I no longer do markets. So this is the only shelf I kept and I love that it can fit all of my t-shirts here. I got rid of the clothing rack so I just kept this and it just looks so much neater and it takes up less space. These chairs gotta go bye bye. This is my pressing station. So I got my 15 by 15 heat press. These things I got from Michaels. It holds everything that I need for heat pressing and for apparel. So this stuff up here. And then each little shelf has a different DTF transfer design. So that's another view of my heat pressing station. I don't know why this is open, honestly. It should be closed. There we go, I closed it. So this is my heat pressing station and I have some space on this side. This is my packaging station. We have a file folder shelf, I think that's what it's called. And I just didn't know where else to put it. So I just stuffed it in there and I have my shipping scale and my shipping tape right on top there. These are all shipping supplies. These shelves are also from Michaels. This is like a new one that they have nowadays. And that one I bought, I don't know, maybe like 10 years ago. That's why I had to put wood pieces there because it's not the same height as the new one. So I just had to lift it a little bit. And then this is what you guys usually see if you follow me on social media. This is where I package all of my stuff. And I use that tripod to put my content phone on it so that way it can film me when I'm doing my ASMR packaging. Just a little tip for you guys. If you can, if you can make it yourself, if you wanna purchase it from me, if you wanna purchase it from someone else, get one of these signs, the little social media signs, and have that in the background of your social media videos. So this at Stephanie Crafts, is always, always, always in the background of when I'm packaging and stuff because that protects me from people stealing my videos. I've had videos go viral before and I've also experienced people taking my photos and things like that and using it as their own. If you guys want a story time, let me know because I'll be down to talk about it. But yeah, I highly, highly suggest getting this just because this is easier. Like you don't have to go in 
and add a watermark or add a logo when you edit. It's just already there in your videos. So that's my little tip, my little trick that I do. So yeah, shipping station. I mean, everything is pretty much self-explanatory. You guys already know my thank you cards, all the labels that I use. This is water for my tape dispenser. I've got my content light over there, content creation light, care cards, more care cards, one business card right there. Packing paper, I believe it's tissue paper. It, I can't think of it right now. Clear bags. Thank you bags, boxes, more boxes, and those are bubble mailers and poly mailers. So that's the packaging slash shipping station. This is one of the things that has not gone up on the wall yet. So this is my flower station. And that I for sure cannot put up on this wall because I need the screws and the drill and all that good stuff. This is another thing that hasn't gone up on the wall yet. These are all of my sequins. And this is where it's gonna be. This guy, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put him up there. I still don't know yet, honestly. This one for sure, I know that I want him on the wall up here. Cause that's all my sequins. Um, but this is really, really heavy. And it has to go on the wall with anchors and screws and all that stuff. I cannot use command strips for that. Here we have my cupcake topper pieces. So anything that I need to make cupcake toppers, you'll usually find in here. It's paw print cupcake toppers. They're either like done assembled some of them even have the sticks or they're just the pieces to make a topper i also have the labels that go on all of my toppers and then the free candles that i put with every cake topper order this shelf i just kind of rearranged yesterday my husband actually made the shelf down there i don't remember how he just took pieces of i don't even know what put them together and then created this shelf so that gave me a little bit more space before i used to have this for my cardstock yes for my 12 by 12 and my eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper he made this so that i could have more storage but i have storage for that now down here this is empty that's ribbon tool fabrics things like that stuff to clean the office trash bags and everything in there empty for extra storage this is extra shipping supplies so i believe there's like tissue paper in there and crinkle paper and i have no idea what's in this one Oh, this is market stuff that I used for my markets that I no longer do once again. But I'm keeping that stuff because I want to have my sister use them. I'm going to take a little talking break and I'll be back in like two seconds. This shelf I rearranged yesterday. You guys will probably see that next week when I share with you guys me trying to move this whole thing. I mean, I did it. I did it all by my lonesome. This is solid wood. This is a good shelf. I actually got it for free when someone was trashing it. You already know, one man's trash is another crafter's treasure. Anyway, I moved this over a little bit because this was kind of like a little bit towards the wall but i moved it over so that i can fit the shelves that way and it can i can easily access them bubble wrap extra storage extra storage here's where i keep all of my paper straws i have them in cups some of them i made others are just blank like this one these are extra thermal label thingies they're just thermal labels i don't know why i said thingy this is the last rubber stamp that i held on to and it's i made a wish and you came true this is because my husband and i our anniversary is 11 11 and we always make a wish at 11 11 down here i have my scraps easily accessible i love that i can just come here pick what i need and we're good to go i can also instead of leaving my scraps on the desk i can throw them on top of this thing here sort through it when i have the chance i don't have to do it right then and there this is for my tools i don't have very many i've got my hammer this is a multifunctional hammer that i got from my daughter and my pink measuring tape that i got from my sister this shelf holds stock so these are cupcake toppers that never sold that i still have them listed these are tie-dye cupcake toppers that haven't sold and these are the santa cams that i have made and i would like to sell so if you need a santa cam get yours today they're already made you'll get them in no time i have some nouveau drops and some stickles barely use them i keep telling myself one of these days one of these days i'm gonna use them again and then down here sublimation printer that i don't use and my mug press that i don't use my mini sizzix die cutting machine and the die is right underneath it that box is really special to me that white one i'm not gonna get rid of because that's the box that i used to send my sister when she used to order for me and she lived in new york still 
I would um, ship them in that box and then I would have her bring that box to me when she came over to visit. But now she lives here, so yay. That's why I keep that box. It's all beat up and inside there's like stickers and a note and everything, so I just keep it there. Over here we have more storage boxes. All of these are empty for storage. Halloween stuff, Christmas stuff. This is where I keep all of my vinyl. I rarely use vinyl, so I just keep it tucked away there and it's rainbow color so it matches the paper and it's nice in the background this is where i keep my 12 by 12 cardstock actually all my cardstock eight and a half by 11 as well those are different kick topper themes so i have my smiley the tie-dye unicorn retro all that stuff is by category we have some office supplies and some random embellishments and things that i don't know where else to put up here i have my silhouette shelves that i spent a lot of money on so i didn't want to get rid of them and i figured it would be a perfect way to display some of the stuff that i have already made we got some standalone numbers some cake toppers cupcake topper my fake cupcakes up there I got those on Etsy. Just a little decor scissor piece. And what's up here? Oh, I made this topper for my son for his 10th birthday. I love this topper so much. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, this is a mermaid one that I made that never sold. Nobody ever liked it, so <laughs> I never got any orders for that one. It is kind of plain, I'm not gonna lie, but I still keep it because I made it. I don't know if you guys want me to go inside drawers, but See, office stuff, random. Behind my desk, this is my desk, that's where I have all the printers and the silhouette machines. That's a cart that I got from Michaels. Everyone in my household has used this cart for everything and anything. So it has been loved, it has been used. It's the longer one, the longer cart. I believe it's the Hudson. And right next to it, I have this shelf thing that I used to use in the kitchen. And eventually it made its way to my craft room. I just spray painted it white as much as I could because, you know, sometimes I'm not really good at spray painting. I'm not really good at like DUI handy stuff. DUI, what the f Okay, I mean DIY. Not DUI. What the hell is wrong with me? And this, of course, is my desk. I still have the Alex drawers. One right there and one right here. Fun fact, this is an actual door. This is like a house door. The door that you put in front of your house for people to come in. My husband cut it for me. That's why one side is this color. This is what I used as a desk back when I had the space at the house. So he had to cut it for me because I needed like exact measurements. So that's why this part is wood. This is... This is a heavy duty door. At some point I have to paint it white because it does drive me crazy, but I haven't had time to do that. My garbage can is there. What else can I say about this space? Oh, I'm not gonna go inside each and every single drawer because it's a mess. These things are a mess inside. Okay, this is not that bad. Oh my God, and neither is this. Just take my word for it. It's, it's a disaster in here. And when I say disaster, I mean it's not organized. Things are just stuffed in there, you know? So yeah, that's my desk area. I have my tripod there for my camera. Whenever you guys see the shots of me and working and stuff, I put my camera here. This tripod is from Amazon and it has worked extremely well. This is one of the pieces that I put up yesterday and I put all of my stickers there. I have stickers down here and alphabet stickers, but I don't even use them, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'll probably sell them. I don't know yet though, because they look pretty. I just never use them. This pegboard thing I got from Amazon. I use them at my markets, but they come with a stand, so I was able to put them on stands and you can put them on a tabletop. I just ditched the stand and put them up with command strips. This one actually fell yesterday. It fell down, everything went all over the floor, but it's all right, we did it. Trimmer, bed for my dog when I bring him, but I don't really like to bring him because he's a little bit of a distraction. This is my love seat that I got from Wayfair. I was debating whether I should leave it here or put it in front of my desk, but I like it here so much better. When I have help, then I can put it there and they can use my desk to work. But honestly, I also have this space that they can use. For day to day and every day pretty much, this love seat is perfect here. Some of you guys were shocked to find out that I didn't get it in pink. But quick fact about that, the pink was so much more money. It was so much more expensive. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna buy this color and then I'm just gonna get a cover because it was so much cheaper to buy this beige color and get a like a love seat cover for it in pink rather than just buy it flat out pink. And with the cover, I could just throw it in the wash and we're good to go. Right now I just have my Halloween-y stuff 
but I'm not gonna keep these pillows here. I feel like they take up way too much space. So I'm gonna take out the, the Halloween -y covers from the pillows once Halloween is over and I'll just use the pillows at home. On top of the love seat, this is new. This is something that I wanted to implement now that I have my own office. This is my board of pretty much all the small businesses that I've supported and a board of the people that I love. So that when I'm working, I'm always facing this and I can see the faces of the most important people in my life. But it also serves as small business support purpose, you know, because I have thank you cards and I have business cards from places that I've ordered from that are small businesses as well as, you know, my own stuff. Like I have my thing there, my thank you card. At one point, that was a business card that I made. My recent business card, these $10 right here. I got that during an Eid celebration that our neighbor invited us to. And for Eid, the elders give gifts to all of the like the kids and stuff like that and like the children because even the adult children got gifts it goes based on age i don't remember exactly how they said it but when i joined my neighbor's mom was like oh you're like a child of mine so she gave me the gift of ten dollars in an envelope and you know she said thank you for celebrating eat and it was just it was a really really special moment so those ten dollars i have cherished ever since that's why that's there. It's not the first $10 I ever made in the business, no. That would have been cool, but I think that the story behind these $10 is even cooler. There you have it, friends. This is my office, my craft room office. It is everything that I have envisioned and more. I couldn't have asked for a better space. This craft room is my crafting dreams come true. Everything about it is absolutely perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better space. I feel like everything, all the cards fell into place at the correct moment. It, it was crazy because I've mentioned this before, but I was never looking for this place. I feel like my husband was more of the one pushing it. He's the one that pushed me and he's the one that got me in here pretty much. He is a huge part of the reason why I'm able to have this office today. Had it not been for him, it wouldn't have been something that I would have gone for at the moment because it's scary. It's scary to do things like this. It's, it's scary because you don't know what the future holds. You don't know what your business holds. I believe in myself, but not as much as like my husband does or my family does. I'm very, very glad that he gave me that push because it was the push that I needed. This place wouldn't be possible without that, without him, without the support of my family, without the support of you guys. If you guys weren't watching my videos and you know weren't engaging and things like that, then I, I don't think that this can be possible. I don't think I will ever stop saying how grateful I am for you guys because it's just the truth. Like it, all of this wouldn't be possible if I didn't have someone on the other side of the screen cheering me on and supporting all of my creative dreams. So thank you guys once again. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys love my office as much as I do. If you guys have any questions, if you want to know where anything's from, let me know. I'll try to make a list and leave everything linked for you guys. Um that I can remember because there's a lot of pieces in here that have been with me for years. Like that Michael's thing, it's at least 10 years old. So I'm gonna go through everything and see what I can link. I will tell you this though, most of the stuff I have, Michael's and Amazon. Also make sure to check out the, my Amazon storefront. You guys already know it's affiliate. You don't have to use the affiliate link if you don't want to. You could always search it up by name. If you do use the affiliate link, I get a small percentage. Cost nothing extra to you guys, but you guys in turn will be helping me out because I'll get you know, pennies here and there, but those pennies add up. So if you do use my link, thank you. But if you don't want to, then you can always click on it, see the name, and then search it up yourself. Everything on my Amazon storefront or everything that I purchase on Amazon, I always put it in my storefront after I purchase it and I've used it for a while, if it's something that I like. So make sure to check that out. Um, if you don't see it there or if I don't list it, then just leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to let you know where anything is from. So yeah, this pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all of your support always. And I'll talk to you guys on Wednesday. Ciao.